So I'm joined by Mick Biles and we're going to have a little chat about Feeder Masters. It's a new competition and I can't claim any credit because Mick, you're the brainchild of all this. Um, tell us a little bit about what the competition's about first of all. What, what made you think that there was space for a, a feeder style competition? Well, despite what everybody would probably automatically think, yes I'm obviously involved with feeder fishing with, with the team and, and so on and so forth. But the main idea of the concept was that some sort of national competitions are quite complex and slightly elitist. Um, everybody seems to have taken to, well, the, to the feeder matches. Yeah, yeah. You know, naturally. That's because everyone can chuck a feeder. Everybody can chuck a feeder. <laughs> You're quite right. And this will prove it. And that's probably the most important bit about the concept. Yeah. Everybody can do it. And this, I think, should be the competition for everybody. For everybody. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. a nice idea, I think, because. You know, feeder fishing, we all know how skillful, especially you guys in the England team are. I mean, to, to win two years running is fantastic. And I think that it's proved that there is an element of skill in feeder fishing. Of course, but at yeah. the same time, we all know that it can go around with that match winning fish at any time. Of course. To create course. a champion. Yeah. And I think that's what's going to be nice about feeder masters mm -hmm. because we're going to have people, we're going to get some surprises, aren't we, in the qualifiers? Certainly. You know, Certainly. it's going to be. 100%. It's going to create a buzz, I think. Yeah. And, and then we've chosen a venue for the final, which we'll talk about in a bit, mm -hmm. that will create the same. Course, Somebody yeah. could catch a match winning fish. Could a big shoulder bream, that's right. Yeah. A big shoulder bream, a yeah. carp, we that's don't know. Correct, so yeah. it's going to be really exciting, I think, yep. on what's going to fall. So let's talk a little bit about the format then. So obviously, first of all, we're going to run a series of qualifiers. Yep. What's, going to, what's going to happen in those qualifiers? Let's just tell everybody what that's about. Well, basically, we'll have, through 2016, we'll have 20 qualifiers, which uh, basically are varied across three different styles of water, you've got the naturals, you've got the commercials, and you've got the rivers. Which I think is a nice blend really, isn't it? Having, yeah. There's something there for everybody. If you like That's to right. fish on a river, then we've got something there for yep. you, but at the same time, commercials, what have you, yep. there's a bit there for everybody. Quite there? right, yeah. quite right. Because not everybody fishes a certain way, no. and what we wanted to do was open this competition to everybody, and that means touching out onto these different styles of venues. We all know that there are some successful river matches, yep. there are some great bream waters, and people tend to stick to their own style of fishing. I think this competition will bring all those people together. Yeah. And I think that's very important. They all fish a feeder on those commercials and the rivers and the still waters, but to actually bring one competition that covers all three disciplines is mm. slightly unique and yeah, quite I, exciting. I think it gives everybody a chance. If they fancy themselves a bit more at one type of fishing, it gives them a chance to qualify. Quite right. Or, fa or favourite, they prefer to qualify on one type yeah, of venue. Yeah. But of course then we know that when you go to the final, because feeder fishing as a whole, if you're just taking your feeder stuff, Mm. It's going to be that much easier to go to the final and think about what you need to work out, isn't it? If you had to Very take your so. pole and your feeder and your wagglers and all of that, right. it, it, right. it'd be daunting for people to turn up and, and, yeah. and, and you know, be a yeah. challenge. Yeah, so. and that's an important point. Every, as I said, everybody will presume that I just want to feed a match. Yeah. And it's not particularly about that. I spend a lot of time with my job listening to anglers, you know, out in their natural domain, not on the match when they're inside of you, and they speak openly. And I think a lot of them find some of the competitions quite complex and very difficult and a little bit daunting yeah. because of the amount of equipment they've got to take or yeah. the equipment that they don't own. If you draw a type of peg where they need something and they haven't got it and that, they miss that's their right. chance. And, and, and that yeah, almost yeah. makes, you know, not that I believe that, but I think it puts a lot of people off because they believe that it's slightly far too difficult, out of reach, and without simplifying it too much, what I've actually said is if they've got a seat box and they've got a tip rod, all they need to bring is a spare tip in case they have any accidents, <laughs> and they can come and fish a qualifier, and they can come fish the final, yeah. and I believe that if they can cast that feeder, they've they, got a chance they, they can win this, they can yeah, win this match, yeah. right. Well, I mean, obviously, you spoke to me about it, so yep. now I've got involved with helping run yep. the event, which I think is nice because it's given a slightly different angle. I obviously run a few events and yep. you're very passionate about feeder fishing, so I think we've combined there nicely. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Uh, I just want to tell everybody a little bit about, you know, well, we have talked about the venues. Uh, they cover the range of the country yep. best we can. Obviously, you're trying to pick venues that are suitable for feeder fishing. Yes, of course. So we've yep. gone places that are favourite. We're always open to ideas. Yep, yeah, yeah, we'd love to hear from if somebody, the Yeah, if you guys have got an idea, yep. what you want to, you know, a venue that you really like, then 
get in touch on yep. Feeder Masters Facebook page and yep. we'll, we'll by the, all means have a look yep. at it. Or the website, they can yeah. look into that, yeah. Yep. Each qualifier is 60 pegs. Correct. I'm right yeah. in saying that. Yep. And how are we going to qualify from there? Just remind everybody. So the 60 peg competitions will be split into three zones of 20 pegs. The winner, the top weight of each of those 20 pegs, will qualify for the final. So three people from each round will proceed directly to the final. That's nice. That's nice. Oh, I, mean, I much prefer that to yeah. a, some of the other competitions when you've got 100, 120 pegs. You, you're turning up and you go like that and you know you can't qualify. That's right. And I think right. with this, because of how we've picked the venues, there are only 60 pegs. Yeah. You in need, your 20 you pegs, you're going to have a good chance, You need you? to beat 19 people, to, and I think qualify, that's the beauty yeah. of it. You yeah. know, I, I went on the River Fest, which I think is a great match, my first one, and I sat down and I thought, well, I've only got to beat 19 people, yeah, yeah. whereas I'm not trying to, to take, you know, and, and yeah. win, win an outright match, and I think that's the great, you know, that's the great advantage. Yeah, this. definitely. So I think what we've done there is looked at what's successful, I'm glad you mentioned River Fest, because that's fair to do, because very good competition. We, yeah, it's a very good competition, yeah. and I think that... When you see a competition with a format that works, mm. I think we've looked at elements of that and looked at elements of the other competitions Correct. and yeah. thought how we can best yeah. give that to everybody. We've so. had the advantage of their experience, yeah. and, and I don't yeah. mind saying that we've ridden in on on the back of that. You know, yeah. I don't make any bones of that. Yeah. Um, but that, that's tried and tested. We're sort of the last guys into this sort of competition arena, and. We've but, but, learned from we've learned from their yeah. Uh, their I think knowledge. more importantly, what we've done is though we've this is a discipline uh, focused yes. competition. Yeah. All the narrowed areas are open to everything. We've yeah. narrowed it down. Yeah, feeder have, fishing. Yeah. Yes. Come so. to fish a feeder. Yeah. So the rules are dead simple. We had a little think about the rules yeah. just to tell everybody about the rules. You got to have a feeder on to fish. Correct. You can't yeah. put a bomb on while you're fishing. Yeah. Although we will allow you to use one to plumb to, yeah. to plumb up. Yeah. You can't put any feed into the water unless it's in your feeder. So you can't throw or no, catapult no, any feeder. No loose feed. No, no loose feed, feed yeah, dead yeah. easy. And a cast must be made. So you must make an overhead yeah. cast. You can't just drop your feeder in at your feet. That's right. Effectively, yeah. it's a feeder fishing competition. That's and right. I'm sure everybody yeah. will embrace yeah. those rules. Of course, you know, and that's open, open to all types of feeder. Yeah. Method feeders, gauge feeders, plastic There's feeders. There's no limits. Maggot feeders, no, no problem. Providing no. that feeder sinks, yeah. you know, we're not, we're not, no, it's we're not having a float fishing bar. feeder yeah, max. No. As long as it sinks when it's empty and, and there's no minimum or maximum hook length, you know, the choice is just yours. Just dead easy. Dead I, just need, I just need a bag of feeders and my feeder rods and off I go. And I'll fish yourself to yeah. the match, yeah. get yourself yeah. to Even I might and, have a chance. Well, I'm not quite sure. No, that's that's not get carried away. You, yeah. You'll have five feeder rods, I'm sure. Yeah, I yeah. will, yeah. I'll only use one and break <laughs> it. Anyway, so I think I want to talk a little bit about how we're, how people enter. I yep. think people want to know how to enter, all yep. right? So the way we've set up to enter this competition is mm -hmm. we've got in touch with the Angling Trust. Now, right, yeah. a few people have said to me, why, why, why mm -hmm. go to the Angling Trust? Mm -hmm. You've created this fantastic competition. Yep. I know from my point of view, I've worked with the Angling Trust of quite course, a bit. Yeah. I believe you have as well. Yeah, yeah I've, I've been at some involvement with yeah. them. And, yeah, and, and I think I've seen firsthand <clears throat> how professional, how yep. organized yep. they are. I mean, in the past, maybe, Things went a little bit astray, but you cannot doubt that they've learned from all of that. They've done the same as us. They're learning from other people. But imagine stage, if we started forward. now. It yep. would it would take us a lot of time. It would take us a lot of money to try and sort it all out. We'd Correct. be learning all the yep. mistakes that the Angling Trust have already learned. That's right. We're going to ride in on the back of their experience. Yep. They've been through this before. They've made mistakes. They've corrected them. They know exactly what they need to do, and they will hit the ground running. Feeder Masters and organisation would you know people think about the ticket purchasing process. Now, those ticket sales will be open right until the first match starts. And that means that you've got to have somebody on a telephone, somebody in administration to answer the phone to our lovely competitors who yeah. could be ringing two or three times. And, you know, what people have got to remember is there's a cost to all that. And if Feeder Masters had to set up an office just to have a girl sat there to take oh, their wonderful calls when they're in for the lunch hour. And basically the result of using Angling Trust is that the anglers will retain more money inside the competition Therefore, there'll be a bigger payout at the end by us using Angling Trust we and not trying to finance the administration ourselves. Well, that's great. Very so, important. effectively, by using the Angling Trust, there's more money to pay out. That's what we're saying. Simple as that. Simple as that. Yeah. And I think you're absolutely right. So, more for your book. I, I'm great, grateful for them for coming and helping us with the competition. Very and, much you know, so. I mean, we've yeah. been working well with Ben Thompson, yeah. he's done a fantastic Correct. job. So, yeah. I think this is going to be really exciting. Um, you know, to see what that's got to offer. Yep. So the way to enter is dead straight, straightforward. Okay, if you go on Feeder Masters website, www.feedermasters.co.uk, 
that website there's a how to enter section if you click on that it takes you through to the angling trust either that or you can bypass the feeder masters website and go straight to the angling trust and on there there are contact telephone numbers you ring them up and you can book on yeah you're available to book on from january the 4th yeah right 9 30 a.m january the 4th and it's going to be first come first serve i've seen it with a few other competitions people get frustrated about missing out of course so what we've looked at to start the competition off right we've said let's get in first come first served if you're organized you'll get a ticket correct that's yeah, the way it is this right. year obviously yeah. in the future we might have to consider different things but at this moment in time that's, we're going to we, start there. we're happy starting there so yeah. if you want a ticket for feeder masters then go on the website go to the angling trust website or our website get the contact numbers and be ready to call up and get your tickets I would, uh, you know, get on and get the tickets booked. Once they're booked, it's fine. What's the cost for an entry for a ticket, mate? Thirty pound a ticket. Thirty pound a yeah. ticket. And what we're trying to do with that money? That money is what we're using to pay the anglers out. Correct. And that, to me, is massive. Very, I, I, very I important. I can only applaud you for that. Yeah. Because with the exception of the the, the day ticket. Yeah, fees, we've got to have a day ticket. <clears> yeah, that's all fair the money enough, that's yeah. out of that thirty pound will be paid back out to the angler on the final. We've Fantastic. guaranteed twelve thousand pounds to the winner. Tw tw just, well, let's 12, just that's like guaranteed. twelve grand yep. guaranteed to the winner. Guaranteed today. Yeah. So regardless of entry, regardless of entry, people yeah. enter, I hope just made you enter. Well, these are. I'll, I'll, split it, I'll split it with you. Six grand the piece. Uh, but regardless of that, it's guaranteed twelve grand, and then depending on the entries. We were yeah. looking up to paying um, £23,000 out on the final. Yeah, well, we, we worked it out, didn't we? If we sell out every qualifier, there'll be twenty-three grand to pay out. Correct. That's incredible. That's, you know, that's we're brilliant. talking big section prizes, yep. you know, big money for winning that's a right. section. So even if you go into it second day, yep. oh, incredible, maybe. Yep. You know, it's going to be really, really good. And yep. something that I'm really, really happy about. I do just want to touch on the final, yep. right, before we go, because... Yep. This was a discussion point for me and you, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, we you know, up, we? we did ponder this for a long mm. time. And I think that what we've done, we actually went to two or three different venues to have yeah. a look, see, get a feel. And we've gone for Bow Beach Reservoir. Now, if you've never been to Bow Beach, like Mick had not when we no, went I've down never there, been before, no. you're in no. for a treat. Yeah. It's a fantastic venue, isn't it? Yeah, Beautiful, it blew you away a little bit, didn't we? You Beautiful, when you on natural the bank. venue typical perfect for feeder fishing you're gonna have some wind you're gonna have some tow you've got plenty of open water to fish in yeah you, know, you, you, you won't you be might, sat on anybody's six knee foot, you might have 25 that's right you, it's you very know. varied yeah, and yeah. it's gonna be you know it's gonna be like a bit of a box of chocolates you aren't gonna know what you're gonna get it's no, full of big it, roach it's full of skimmers it's full of big shoals of bream is it, it on carping it, there is you never know yeah. you know you, you never you know pull on one of them yeah. so i think i think it'll it's perfect for our match it's perfect when for i walked match. on that bank it was an instant decision, as yeah. you remember. Yeah. I said, you, we can turn around now. Yeah, this we're is out. us, this it, is us. us yeah. So we're going to decide the winner by weight, aren't we? Correct. We're yes. going to say two that days, yeah. two days yeah. final, end of September. Yeah. I believe it's the 24th and 25th That's of September. Right. Yeah, the weekend. And, and what we're going to do is we're going to have a two day final where wait over two days. So yes. nobody will know. There'll be no runaways. You, so you're yeah, right. Even right. if you even if you blow out first day, you could go and catch fifty pound of bream second yeah, because day. We'll, so ro we'll rotate the pegs. There'll be some rotation of the pegs. Yeah. So I think that's fantastic. Yeah. I really do think that that's going to give everybody a chance to win. And if they can beat you and the rest of your lads, they're going to have a great chance. Good luck to them. Yeah. Well, that look that speeder mass is yeah. in a bit of a nutshell. Get yourselves online and book in. There is booking forms as well. I suggest you pick up the phone. That's your best way of getting a ticket. Pick up the phone in January and you will have a ticket for this great competition. And we'll see you there. Yeah, we will. Cheers.